I'm back with more information on Eric W. Davis and his statement that the Pentagon are interested in looking at recovered off-world alien technology. Really interesting. I think I'd like to clarify a few points of what Eric Davis has said, who he is and who he has been working for. So until 2012, Dr. Davis has been working for ATIP, Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, but that's now closed and has probably been renamed to become the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. I can't swear on that, but that's my best research. So what exactly did Dr. Davis do for ATIP or the, continues to do for the new program? Well, in an interview Dr. Davis gave about extraterrestrial technology and UFOs, he did say something kind of interesting which puts a new spin on what I'm saying and possibly what he really did. So Davis works for ATIP, the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, a Pentagon Department of Defense funded program that looks at unidentified flying objects. And this ran from 2007 until it was disbanded, supposedly, in 2012. But in an interview, Davis confirmed that in fact, it was never disbanded, it only changed names. And my best research has found it's now called the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. And it continues to this day. Dr. Davis was and continues to be, he is a consultant to the Pentagon about the potential threat and the potential development of the so-called unexplained aerial phenomenon. So, for example, the Navy in one of its defense test areas comes across a unknown craft that does extremely high speed and changes direction very quickly. And they need to know if it's a danger and if it's a threat. Obviously, it is a threat. But they also need to know how they, the US, could possibly use that technology. And so Davis's specialization is actually looking at the potential of off-world phenomenon, which are recorded, looking at speeds, looking at g-forces, to come up with scenarios, engineering real-world scenarios of where the US military could go in the future. And Davis and his team are also involved at looking at possible artifacts from UFO crash sites. This picture on your screen is a crash site that's over 2,000 years old, but possibly artifacts have been retrieved and have been analyzed to confirm whether they are extraterrestrial. So the plot thickens and who really knows, but the real takeaway message from what he has said and what he's currently doing is that the Department of Defense through the Pentagon has a task force looking at unexplained aerial phenomenon and it's funded and they're taking it seriously because of course it might either be a foreign power or it might be something not of this world. So they do need to take it seriously. But I still think there's one or two weird inconsistencies in who he works for, what he's done in life. One of my Patreon viewers looked at his LinkedIn page and his career seems to be going backwards, but maybe again, it's a misinterpretation. On his LinkedIn page, it says that he is a PhD scientist, he became a CEO, he became head of a research laboratory, and then strangely, he starts becoming 
a uh, adjunct professor and then an assistant to research and then just a research person. So why is he listing his career like this? I mean, is the guy for real? I guess he is, but you and I, who are citizens of the same planet, or if you're American, <laughs> you're actually paying your tax dollars to fund these type of projects. We deserve to know what's really going on. So keep up the good work, people, and keep digging into the minutiae detail of unexplained aerial phenomenon because we need to know the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.